Hey you, and welcome to Survival Sunday. At least I think that's a good name. So, I'll be playing Until Dawn, which is a great game. I have already played it through once with my friend, making the choices in the game. And I have seen other people play it. But as I am new to YouTube, I thought that I'd play something I'm somewhat familiar with. So, here we go. We'll start a new story because I tried it, tried to record this earlier, but the audio didn't work. You won't be seeing my face on these Let's Plays because my, I'm working with my laptop and it can't run the web camera at the same time, at least it doesn't look that good. So I'm, I'm sorry about that and I'll, when I get a, a PC I'm gonna start recording my face as well so you'll get the actual reactions. I try not to talk through during these cutscenes. That's just... I, I really like how this has been created. Alright then, and here we go. I really love the cra graphics. Graphics? Yeah, graphics in this game. It's really cool. It's really, nearly, nearly real. It does come close to it. That's a great place to sleep. I bet your back won't hurt in the morning. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, they are. Alright, time to choose. So, since we know that Josh is passed out, he's not going to wake up. So, we'll find the others. Joke. It was just a prank, man. What did you do? I was just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerk! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. As we are trying to find our sister, we'll go fast. <laughs> and we'll follow the footprints because it looked like the birds were the cause of the sound. Ooh, dear. <laughs> of course it's scary in the, in the dark in the dark forest. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Indeed, where is Hannah? How far did she run? <laughs> That's actually quite the cool, cool mechanic in the game, even though it's very simple, but still it's quite nice after all. Most of the phones nowadays have a touch screen, so it's cool that they have... Damn, dear. It's cool that they have added that to the game. Anybody there other than Hannah? All right, then let's have a look at this. Girl, how are you so calm after seeing yourself die? And still. There's fire in the middle of a forest. Are you not panicked? Of course, we could always walk faster. Damn. Indeed, and there is Hannah. Hold on. Oh, you are in trouble now, girls. So, as I know that you don't actually have to choose anything, I'm not going to do either of these, because uh, it, it won't change the outcome. This is the one thing we can't, cannot 
cannot make a difference with. AJ Hill. What does the AJ AJ stand for? There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. All right. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. So it is. We have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom for everyone. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. <laughs> I want you to remember this. I want so you to remember said. this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Personal space, so, dude. You have committed to commence with this game this week. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes big things can be only I'm here to ensure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the cards? All right. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It seems essential to handle honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right then. Hmm. Yeah. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Well, I know that it doesn't make me happy, but it's I don't know. It's not that uneasy, but we'll go with it since. That's the only other option. Well, I'm not sure. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel so uneasy? Well, the unknown is the thing that is scary. It's the house. No, it's not in the house. Unless it's ghosts. Sure. You you don't know what get you or you could you don't know what could be hiding there. For a human or is there some other fear perhaps that you would like to talk to me about? Hmm. Well, a human could hide in it, but I don't think that's it. Already? We were having such a great time. It felt like you were talking straight to me. Even though, well, that is how it's made to seem. Don't these kind of sessions last nearly an hour, you see?
one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Sheriff Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He has warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the ground, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sister and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! I've heard that song way too often. Alright then, Sam. Hello? Is someone there? I didn't have headphones the last time I played this, so I couldn't hear the breathing in the background. That's just creepy. Where on earth is that? And here we have a the tutorial again some of the mechanics we already learned as we were playing as best but of course it's necessary to make us do it again All right. time over that's nice hmm so then we'll climb over how did the others get here we'll go quick since we don't have time. Well, we do have time, but still. Then we'll jump.
There you go, girl. There it is again! <laughs> the breathing! Why do you have to do that? Of course to create tension, but still... <laughs> this might screw me over later in the game. Not moving the controller. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna turn that objective. Head to the cable car station. Of course it is. Since you can't really go anywhere else. Okay. Here's the explanation to totems. If you wish to read it, just Pause it. I, I know what they are, so I'm not going to spend time reading them. Thank you. Let me pick it up now. Let me pick it up. Thank you. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Guiding totem. I probably won't be able to find all of the totems in the game. Seriously, that's beautiful. I would love to live in a place with this kind of a view. With, well, not this, but. But, but the mountains. That's just beautiful. Not in the bag, are you? Well, he wouldn't be able to fit in it. Alright. And, um, well, I personally wouldn't answer someone else's phone, so I'm gonna close it. They might actually want me to answer their phone, but I still wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. I don't I don't wanna do that. Oh, so I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. So come on, this way. Alright. We'll follow you then. Lead the way. Yeah, and I probably won't be able to find all the clues either. I didn't in the last time. Uh, last time I played through this. Right then, then some shooting tutorial. It's a bloody good thing that <laughs> that there's the timer thingy when you shoot because I'm not that good shot in games. During the well, while I, while I was playing The Last of Us, I got better at it, but still, if I would have to be able to react quickly with a gun, I probably would be dead. Well, I'm not going to shoot the squirrel. Why on earth would I do that? Hmm. 
Alright then. And now we are playing as Chris. They found people sleeping in the station. Crazy. Yes, it is, but it, it's, it's still. It is warm and warmer inside it, probably, than it is outside. So I could understand if somebody needed to get to go to sleep, that they would get inside if possible. All right, let's go check out what's here. Let's first check this out. There is a bathtub. Why is there a bathtub? I know why, but still, that is just creepy. Hmm. Blackwood Pine, hotel and sanatorium. How on earth would those two be together? This is in, yeah, well, sanatorium is a mental institute, right? Alright, there's our cable car. Let us get on it. Yeah, yeah. Alright then. Let us take a ride. It's like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. How is that operated? You know, they're the only two there. And neither of them pushed any buttons. How the hell did it start moving, you know? Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. So they said. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. How new can they be? Weren't you here last year as well? Just as everybody else? Well, Chris was passed out, but still. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Can you please? And if I don't? What will you do then? Okay.
ten minutes of Marion, I would have chewed off my own leg. Huh. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Oh, hey. Well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Hmm. Well, I'll be nice, sort of. Mike and M Slick were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. To be clear cut, actually, and out, I'm in. Huh. Yeah, cute back. Thank you. Think well, she's coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Thank you. Uh, Sam? Uh, did you see the queue? I mean, holy mm. cow. It is. I tell you, that gets me. <laughs> the graphics are amazing. Although at times, they do look a bit weird. Sometimes when the light hits the eyes, with it, in a certain way, they look a bit I don't know, creepy. Yeah. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy mm -hmm. when you want? Well, he is behind you. You're making your boyfriend carry all the bags. Wee. <laughs> Jesus! Damn, Mike. Why would you do that? You got it. Michael! You really, really did it to your face for right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're out in the woods. It's spooky. It is spooky, that's true. That is true. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Hmm. That will be nice again. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable cars after the show. See you, man. See ya. <laughs> right. See ya. See ya. I can just imagine the actor <sighs> doing <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, we're so gonna make out. In the Sam. It's funny how you have so much I'm luggage. Sorry, I just, I really need to go and Sam has what? Well, well, a backpack? We get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Alright, we'll agree. There's no point in arguing it. Arguing Fine. over it. Fine. She's going to make We're us carry them go. anyway, so the rest of the way. I might just but you we'll go. What do we see here? 
people. We. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly, but not in the friend zone kind of way. Maybe we need to check the expiration date on that big bad guy. Indeed. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Scare you. God. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, well, man, I'm I'm so sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? You making juice or something? Uh, it, let me check it out. I don't. Uh, well, yeah. Let him take a look. There's no. Uh, he should see it for uh, himself. Uh, Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I uh, damn it. <sighs> Matt. <laughs> yeah. There seems to be something going on about on about between Emily and Mike still. Hmm. I think I'll check read the book. Even though she doesn't look like the kind of good girl, she's listening to music and... Of course we're gonna have a snowball fight. <laughs> what other gangs have snowball fights in them? Tell me. Go me! <laughs> oh, shakalaka. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do, indeed. And why would we hit the bird? We're gonna let it go away. And then we are going to hit Mike with the snowball. <laughs> so did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> all right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent is Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Indeed. <laughs> and let's not get too ah! cozy here. <laughs> What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the loft. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. <laughs> Just making out? Well, I suppose. Well. I think we might freeze to death somewhere between the Indeed! It is snowing out there. And it seems to be cold because the snow is getting off the ground with the wind. So, yeah. How are, you, how are none of you freezing? You have gloves. Well, you don't have gloves. What the? What on earth am I saying? 
You don't have gloves on. How on earth are you go How are we going to be fine there? I felt that we need some good clothes. Alright. This time, we're going to try to understand the music of the All right. Now pick up that book and turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify them as you can think of them to the next page. Hmm. All right, let us choose them. Well, neither really worry me, but I said I'd say men. And then you'll turn the page. Uh, I haven't been on planes that often, but that, that, they don't really scare me. Neither do do crowds. So I have, I've been into conventions where there are a lot of people, but more probably more scared of crowds than air, airplanes. Mm, I can deal with heights. And I can, I, I like to swim, but I, I would hate to drown. I, I'd imagine that feels awful. I don't know, well, falling from a very great height would probably also hurt, like, really much. Hmm. Snakes have always scared me. I, I've always been scared of snakes, even though there aren't that many poisonous. Poisonous one. Only one poisonous snake here in Finland. Uh, I'd say knives. You don't... Well, I don't know. People don't carry that many guns here in Finland. I think not individuals, at least. Knives! Those are easy to get your hands on. Mm. The clown. Simply because of that picture. That is just disturbing. Gore. Uh, do you need to do that? Aren't you supposed to make me feel better? Help me deal with my issues? Not cause more, more of them? All right. Mm, snakes. It is always snakes. They aren't that large spiders here, so and gore. I'm. I'm. I don't. Needles are fine. I can deal with those. Uh, out of these two clowns, that's still a lot more disturbing than the zombie. And gore. If that's actually a dog, it's alright. And gore. We do get thunderstorms here in the summer mostly, but most are they aren't that bad. So I don't think I've ever been afraid of thunder. Then you spent interesting Friday nights. Oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we can talk again very soon. All right, bye. And I think I'm gonna leave this one here. And yeah. Well, we'll continue this next Sunday and we'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna say my goodbye now. So, bye bye.